Back guys, Abrix13 back with another video. Today I will be reviewing a Lego Harry Potter set, which is the Hogwarts Express that retails for $79.99 in the US and has 801 pieces. So the set has six minifigures, a train, and a train station. And it has two trolleys like that. So get into the set review stop we're gonna look at the train station itself this is i i think i pushed it together really well but it falls apart easily so it has a little wanted poster right there i feel on your left right there and it says wanted series black because in the wave two of the harry potter sets are gonna have it and then over here they have a stand that sells two by two piles of uh, the Daily Prophet saying that Harry Potter is like the boy who lived from like Voldemort trying to like attack him. So this is like simulates like the scene when they're in England and they're like trying to like get on the train. So I'll use Ron and his trolley. So I'm not gonna put the books in it because it's like like makes it harder to push. So you have him and he's like Oh, where should I go to get into the train station? So then it actually has a feature. You go through the wall. And it goes through there. So, uh, we're going to look at it from this side. So he's like, Whoa. And it pushes through. It's supposed to, yeah. But it's like basically just this on a hinge. And then it has um, platform 9 and... 10 right there because it's not platform nine and three quarters it has a printed sticker right there that says king's cross it also has stairs stairs going out a little bit like right there okay, it has stairs where you could put mini figures right now i'll just put harry right there you put them on the stairs and then you also have a clock right there top which is very detailed too you can stand many fingers at the top like that like that right there and let's actually get into the train itself it's very long together so what we're going to be doing with this is i'm going to take apart each section of the train so i can give you a full in depth of each part of the train so first, start at the front of the, end of the train. When you move it, the, the things on the side, like, they move like that. And then there's like the front of it, and then you have like, where you put the coal, and like the, how do you control like the fireplace. And then there's the side of it, where basically that is. And there's the iconic front of the train. And you can easily turn directions. It's basically, this is like where like, some of the parts go up. Because this is like all solid and the inside is not like hollow. It doesn't push down that piece. But there's like not really places to stick minifigures. So now let's go into the little storage sure. container. It's just like small and it could go in really easily. So that's the hinge they go on. You can put it in any order. I just put it in this one. So there's a, this is like the main part of it. So you open it up and then if you could see inside of there, it's like really like dark. You could like store stuff in there. So like. For example, I'll just throw suitcases in there. Throw the suitcases in there, close it, and then you could roll it out. Next is where the people actually sit. Like where the people sit to like to ride the train. So it has the same print sticker right there. Right there. I really like how they did that right there with like the studs to make it like looking close. So what you could actually do is flip it through. You could flip it through. Pull this off too, so you can stick the mini figures in. So you, if you have a short like mini figure, you want to make sure you put them on the back two studs, like like that. And make sure they're one pieces off, because I was having problems before like sticking them on, because I couldn't get them on. Their hands have to be up too, because I tried to put them on the first one that didn't really work. You can put Hermione and Harry in there, and you could put Lupin in there too. But you gotta make sure you remove their their wands 
before you do that. So you can actually like fit them all, fit them all on there, like all the minifigures. And you could use the trolley lady. It's like push your trolley along like that, but you can't seal it. But you can seal it with the minifigures inside of there. Put that on. Okay, now let's get on to the cart balance. Not that, like, here's the first card belt. It's not really that complicated. You can fit two suitcases and then Ron's right on there. And then you could, it doesn't use like real pieces, it uses these. So it, it like does it, you could like, does it like really roll? But yeah, it's the same thing with the candy one. They didn't really put this much detail in it. They just put a chocolate frog in that. They yeah, have the same like wheel thing, so it's like, yeah, it doesn't really work. So next we're gonna go into the yeah. mini Harry Potter, the star of all the Harry Potter movies. So as you can see, his torso design is really like detailed, as you can see right there. It has his little coat and it has its zipper. And then the back side of it is right there. It has his hood, you can't really see it. And he has his wand piece, which is iconic, and a new hair, hair piece to the Harry Potter line. And we're gonna look at his second, like more scared, but his other one's more confident. So next, we're gonna go on to his best friend. Next, we have his best friend, which is Ron Weasley. He has a recolor for the Surfer Dude's hair piece in orange. He has his nice, like, sweatshirt, too, with, like, the red, the red there, and then he has the same side on the back, sweater, and then he has uh, the new wand piece, and he has, like, a confident face print right there, and we're going to look at the back right, face print right there. He's, like, scared. He's, like, really scared. Now we're going to go on to Harry and Ron's print. Here are Ron's friend, we just reminded Granger who has a nice sweatshirt and then like a nice hair piece. And she has like a tan one and tan short legs. And let's look at the back facial expression in your back. She has a hood and then she has a scared face. Next, let's go on to Here's Professor Frank. Lupin, their teacher in year four of Hogwarts because they get like a new Defense Against Dark Arts teacher. Every year, he has a nice jacket and tie print. He has a nice dark brown wand. He has nice tan legs. And he has scratches on his face because he turns into a werewolf at night. And he has like a nice little smiling face print. And he has the barista's hair piece in light brown. Let's look, go look at his alternate, alternate expression. expression. He's like a little bit angry and his eyes are yellow. Because he's about to turn into a werewolf. And then he has back printing continues onto the back. And now let's look at the trolley lady. Nice trolley lady who has Aunt May's face print from the bridge battle set for Lego Spider Man. And then she has a nice, like, pink and dark red, like, sweater. And she's a pretty bland minifigure. Not that much printing or, like, nice details on her. So let's go look at the this one. And she has the the printing continues on to the back. And let's go on to the next mini figure. Which was exclusive to the set until they released the Wave 2 pictures. And then they have two Dementors in the $20 set with Sirius Black and Harry Potter. He has really good prints. He, he's like a really good minifigure, so that's what he looks like like that. And then we're gonna take his hood off and you can, and his cape off so you can see his back printing. You can see his printing a little bit better. It's like really like nice and like kind of detailed. And the black, he just has black because it gets covered by these two pieces. You have Ron we Weasley's rat scabbard, who uses a new rat piece. It's not really th that much printing. Now let's go into the final overview. This is a really good set. I would say if it was like $70, like 
$79.99, that would be like a really good set. But I can see why they bumped it up to $79.99, because it's like because of the theme and because it would sell well with like the good minifigures. So I'd give this set a uh, 8 out of a 10, because the 9 3 quarters station like breaks easily, and like the train's like bulkier than it like has to be but the minifigures are probably like the best p part of the set and like the front part this is probably the best part of the set too so hopefully you like this video hopefully so you will subscribe and i will see you in the next video oops